Hello and welcome back to Sonic Frontiers with me, Matthew Caddies, aka Puggy. So, um, most of this episode again is more exploring, although we do have a, uh, another guardian here, which is called Excavator, which you may think is a tower, which it is, just a reskin really, but it does have some new moves, which earns its nickname, but we'll get to that. Um, also, it fires projectiles at us, which makes it much harder to actually attack it by using our um, thing there, unfortunately. The other thing about Excavator is that it now plants itself in the ground, thus its name, Excavator. Also, you can't dash at it, so yeah. Though you can still try and side loop it when it's not launching uh, projectiles at you. Well, that was a bit harder. So instead, I just use my boost. <clears throat> And also your combos, if you have leveled up enough, um, will allow you to uh, um, avoid it mostly. The other thing I've noticed, it comes out with that annoying laser, which honestly, um, yeah, all I can say is um, go for the head. Seriously, that's the easiest way to get rid of that. And there we go. Not too hard of a, a mini boss at all, really, is the uh, thing. Just think of it as a more powerful version of the tower enemy. Anyway, that being said, the next thing I want to do uh, canonically is find tails, but firstly I want to look at this enemy, the annoying bird enemy. What you have to do with this guy is actually avoid the attacks it has, and then, no joke, um, um, have send the attack, uh, laser attacks back at you by using the parry. And then it'll kind of lunge for you, if you know what I mean. Which, yeah. That was the enemy I was referring to in the last episode. Granted, I didn't need to use him to actually get to where um, the first Chaos Emerald was, thank goodness. But we may need to use the Birdemic enemy there to actually reach the uh, Tails, who is located over there. On a rather remote looking island. So, that being said, um, also have the um, switches. They just generate a, um, something random, really. But um, um, they just generate another dash pad which sends you back, really. So, yeah, not gonna try and do that. Uh, um, what does this do? I wonder. Probably another spring that sends you the wrong way. Well, actually, no. No, no, it doesn't, actually. It just sends me back. Although it does send great as well. That sends me the other way. Which would be fine if I was going to look for more um, items and stuff. But I don't. I don't really want to look for more items. Uh, so, yeah. Instead, I want to make my way over this way and um, actually k literally kill myself because... Um, that's the only way the bird enemy will respawn here. If you kill him while you are uh, trying to um, defeat him and glide over, then yeah, you're screwed unless you die, basically. So yeah. You'll notice him because he'll shoot a laser at you. You'll hear his laser go off. So that's a big clue as to where he is. Unfortunately, I didn't fly with him for that long, though, did I? So he should show up. Seriously, it wasn't far from here. Because I know I went up this one with, through all those rainbow rings, but still. Seriously, I can get back up there easily. And let's see if the Birdemic enemy does show up. Let's see. I do want to see if he does. Well, I don't know. Also, I'm... Um, I don't think I see Excavator at all either. And he would respawn if I died with Excavator. Seriously. Being a guardian, of course. All of the guardians do respawn if you die. Seriously. But for now, um, I don't know, let's try and make our way down there. It's gonna be really hard without the bird enemy, seriously. Um, but I'll go into why I hate that enemy as well when I get into another fight with him. Oh, reloading. Reloading also works, seemingly. So, yeah. Often, most of the times when I've dealt with said enemy, what will happen is that Sonic will trip up. 
He has his triple perform mechanic again. He used, again, this is a Sonic game, although it's rated 12. Seemingly. Gone are the days, I guess, when we can have, um... Um, 7 plus or th uh, 3 plus rated Sonic games under the Peggy system. Nope, um... Apparently we can only have, um... Uh, this rating, so yeah. Also, I don't know if we can go through this tower to actually reach Tails. You would think you would be able to. I might as well show this off since um, I do go through this tower quite a bit to get to other islands. So yeah, and another musical note, which very nice. Um, and also the <laughs> strings are here as well. Because I absolutely fucking hate those things. And in the, this area, oh boy, there's an enemy in the background that's trying to shoot me. Again, the best way to avoid its attacks is just to parry them. Fortunately, he does uh, try and snipe you while you are trying to go through the lasers, which is a pain in the ass. Seriously, the amount of times I've lost my rings to these guys. And the fact you can't send the laser blast at it to stun the guy? Yeah, I'm gonna go bullshit here, seriously. Get moving and get lost. Seriously. I don't care if you are a robot. No, I don't. Get up there and go. And this will actually take us actually to the island where Tails is, so that was a waste, wasn't it? Environmental analyzer. All of the ancient technology is networked to cyberspace. If I can get it back online, we can maybe get some answers. What? So, that was a thing. Whatever assaulted the island sure packed a punch. That was on par with Dark Gaia, easy. I feel like we need to find the emeralds pronto. Agreed. We'll rendezvous later. We're at a pretty high altitude. It's hard to say how high due to all the clouds. Any higher and we'd risk Angel Island bumping into us. Pretty harsh conditions for anyone to be living and working under. Ancients must have had a reason for coming up here. Given the infrastructure, I don't think this was a residential area. It seems more like military front lines. A first strike position, huh? I mean, those cannons aren't just for show. With everything we've seen, just what kind of enemy were they preparing for? Okay, so, um, basically for the rest of this episode is going to be me dealing with Birdnik here. So basically what I want to do here is actually get him to fly high enough in order to, um, get him to the other side because, as I say, this bird robot, he does not fly, he glides when Sonic's hold on, held on to him and only downwards, seriously. Yeah, it is... If I want to equate it to anything, I'd say the hang gliders in uh, Sky High Zone in the Master System slash Game Gear version of Sonic 2. And that's how bad this is, really. And it seems I've landed on this island where seemingly the Gale's Emerald was. So, uh, yeah, not a great look, but um, yeah, you have to 
basically getting a good enough height for, for you actually to glide across to each of the chasms and land on the island and hope you don't die in the process. Seriously. As that I have actually covered this island, I don't know if I've been to the next one, so... Um, this sequence does look familiar, so I'm gonna say I have been to the next island, because that does look familiar there. Uh, yeah, seriously. Okay, no, there's, um, let's see, there's, no, I've already completed that as well. So I can't go to that island either, so I'm kind of stuck again, which is not great after all that, seriously. But there you go. Some weird looking ruins over there. I've actually looked up a, a lot, sorry, a lot more of the map than I thought I did. So yeah, Tails meanwhile is over there. And you can see some weird um, mechanical stuff pumping out pollution. Whether or not it has anything to do with the um, aforementioned thing, I do not know. But, um, could do. Well, that being said, let's go along the grind rail to the other side. More on that volcano a bit later, because it's kind of needed to unlock the boss. Of course, uh, Knight, the Titan here. Also, that thing flying above us is another Guardian by the name of Fortress. And he's much tougher than uh, Squid was, seriously. Get to him in a moment, I think. But for now, let's see where I am. Well, quite a bit later. <laughs> but this way is another um, musical note. So yeah, another bird nick there. And uh, let's run down here and run to the other side. And yeah, I still love, love this game despite the problems I do have with uh, Chaos Island. But for now, let's see. It looks like it's down there! Yeah, you want me to commit suicide to get a, a fucking note? Um, no game, I don't do that. Unless some more ruins come up. Oh, there it is. There we go. I did find the musical note after all. So, yeah. Though the whole right hand side of the, the map is not, is not unlocked yet. The X's, need I remind you, are, um, Guardians. <laughs> me. So that being said, I want to make my way over the other end. Absolutely. And indeed, um, uh, make my way back there. More robots there, but I cannot be bothered. I'm going to run up the hill and um, hopefully not be an ass about it. Seriously. More robot. I've, I've said that. Okay, the big thing to worry about here is the lava, of course. It's instant death, as it always has been with the, the uh, Sonic games. Yeah, and no um, fire shield for Sonic in 3D here. Yeah, we did get... I know we did get the electric shield in, like, uh, the Sonic Adventure games, but that was only in the Sonic Adventure games. Seriously. And why not? Get that thing off. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, I don't know if I have anything else to talk about other than the, uh, how the bird badnik works and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> 